Hi everybody and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. Today we're painting this adorable birthday card so let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is to use scotch tape to tape a rectangle on your watercolor piece of paper and this is just to make sure that the cake that we are painting remains nice and straight, neat and tidy on the edges and you're going to be choosing whatever color that you want to work with so I chose sort of a, a pinkish color. You're going to be using different shades of that one color or and also um, different intensities of that one color and you're going to be painting stripes uh, horizontally going upwards and I would say you want to paint about five or six layers making sure to leave a tiny white gap in between each stripe so you can definitely use tape to aid you in making those lines completely straight in between the layers but I think that that rough uh, sort of almost wavy look really adds to the card so I chose to forego you know using tape in between the layers and just to eye it. Once you're happy with your layers and they have completely dried, you want to go ahead and take uh, some different colors. Um, so you're going to be using all the colors of the rainbow, at least that's the way that I painted my candles. And that's what you're going to be painting next. You're going to be painting the candles on the birthday cake. So I went with uh, a blue and then I think I faded into purple, red, orange, yellow, green, and then a darker green. And you can definitely use some tape to aid you in painting the candles. Um, you can see that the first one I painted there is a little bit rounded on the edges rather than being a perfect rectangle. So you can definitely use tape or you can just do what I did and take some white acrylic paint at the end when they're all completely dry and just make them a little bit more rectangular like but it's completely up to you. You can even just leave them rounded if you'd like. Once your candles have completely dried, you can begin to add the flames to your candles. So using yellow watercolor, I like to paint a little ball on top of the candle and then just add a little wispy point to it. Um, just make sure your points aren't too straight because you do want, it, want to make it look a little bit realistic. And you can definitely add some orange watercolor while the uh, yellow is still wet just to add a little bit of variation to the flame and once that has completely dried you can peel off the tape um, you could have done this earlier as well you can also go ahead and take a, a permanent marker or a fine tip marker and just connect the flame to your candles you can add your happy birthday greeting and you can even add some details to the candles themselves uh, if you would like and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and create it for somebody special in your life on their birthday. And I will see you in next week's tutorial.